KUHS Denver. Welcome, everybody. You're listening to Gerald Albright, some funk is and some good stuff that Gerald Albright has been going on. I'm going to just dial it back a little bit so you can go back into the background. Uh, right now, I've got somebody very special in the studio. Thanks to our sponsors who sponsor KUHS, City of Brighton. Also, uh, we've got Wilcox uh, Tree Services and a host of other people who come in here and do a lot of things with us. The Field House. And everybody else who are part of our sponsorship, Raj, it's so nice to see you back by popular demand. Thank so you've been you. here quite a few times, and you always thrill our audience. Of course, we have an international audience, like I was showing you. Right. Close to 5,100 people patched in right now, but by the time we're done, we'll be at 100,000 people. We never thought being international would do this for us, but it certainly has. Yeah. Raj, you always have a lot to say. To, uh, <laughs> no, you do. And you've been doing so much. That I'm going to let you take it over for a little bit to tell your audience what's going on out there. Uh, she's got all these shows. Garage, when she came from New York City, we talked and we said, how do you like Denver? She said, I love Denver. Everybody loves Denver. But now she's doing all kinds of good things. Isn't that right, Rod? Yeah, thank you so much, Henry. I'm yeah. so excited to be back here. I love how you guys support not only international artists, but independent artists. And it's really such an awesome time every time I get a chance to talk to you and Charlie and everybody else. Um, I'm excited because I have a new show coming out uh, December 19th, Thursday, December 19th. We're going to be at the Vintage Theater. I'm doing a holiday show. My band, the Raj Solari Experience, we are doing all kinds of music. We're doing our original stuff. Plus, we've reimagined some of your favorite holiday tunes. I'm so excited about it. I was at the Vintage Theater this summer doing a musical called Crowns, and we had such a great time and got such a response, a great positive response from it, that I was really honored that the Vintage um, wanted us to come back for a holiday show. So this is so great. Um, if you tune in, by the end of this show today, I'm actually doing a giveaway of my two albums. So I'll be so excited to tell you all about that. Um, and I just have a lot of great things going on. I'm on such a high. Um, had to, I've had some great performances lately. And I'm just excited. It's been a great year. So, so excited to be here with you guys. And I hope that all is well and that you've been doing great. So, thank you so much. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Raj Tawari. Uh My website is www.rajdawari.com. I am relatively new to Denver. I've been here for the past two and a half years or so. My husband and I moved here from New York. Um, I've been doing this thing called jazz and independent music for about 20 years now, um, and it's so great. I'm starting to see some beautiful traction happen with my music and my projects. I have some new stuff coming up that I can't wait to share with you guys, um, and it's just been a great experience, and so I'm truly, truly grateful and so excited. And uh, I really want to thank everybody, especially all of you, uh, all of you KUHS listeners, who've been responding to the last interview that we did and who've been supporting the music and the project. It means the world to me. And I'm excited to be back here with you again. Wow. And that's a lot. You know, you uh, sang with Diana Reed on, on the same stage as you get up there. Same stage, yeah. And that was Diana good. Reed is a very popular entertainer in the Denver, Colorado area. There's a lot of awesome people out of Denver that are yeah. just doing it big. And you're, to me, you're the one. Oh, and thank so, you. <laughs> you know, people may think that Raj is just here in Denver, blah, 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 but sometimes he gives the exposure here to where your albums and some of the albums he's got are awesome. I play a lot of her music on my Snoopy Jazz show and I always tag her. Let her know I'm playing some of her music. If you want to go out and buy it, where can we buy something? I'm on Instagram, I'm on um, iTunes, uh, Amazon. Google Play, my website, www.rajdalari.com, and of course, you can get them if you come to my concerts and see us live. Now, you were giving away one of these to yeah. me. All you got to do is put in the comments, I love Raj Dalari. Better yet, I love Raj. 
R A J. That's right. That's easier. Uh -huh. Everybody said, How do you pronounce it? Everybody asked me, I go, I've got it down. She told me how to pronounce it in the very beginning. You know, great. Yeah. You told me how to say your name. You know, I listened to some of the music and I played the variables uh, on the TV jazz show because all the songs seem to have some um, the sort of feeling that you're speaking to, you know, if you're featuring so and so, which one you prefer to play to? Yeah. Travis Antoine, uh, my best friend, who's an incredible, incredible violinist, Monique Chris Roberts. Um, both of my albums were produced by an incredible host producer and keyboardist, Aaron Brooks Roberts. Um, he's going to be at the show with me and Monique on Thursday, December 19th. Um, and I, it's just been great. I've also played with um, this guy, Asante Ramin, who's Shout out to Asante, who's in New York. Um, so we've had such a great experience with both of those projects, and I've been blessed. And, you know, yesterday I was honored at the Hiawatha Davis Luncheon, senior luncheon, to perform with Diane Reed and with the incredible Joe Foke, who oh, is one of my – She oh my is gosh. awesome, too. We've had her here before, too. Oh, you guys, I don't know what it is with you two. She was out at the uh, lighting of the lights right there at Civic Center. Yeah. I was, like, stunned of it. My mom was like, this is good. Vocals, even in the cold weather, you know how hard it is to sing in cold weather. Eggs, oh, yeah. And I was seeing her, she was just belted out. And you both uh, are some outstanding vocalists of Denver. We get to, you know, uh, honor you in, in special ways. And this is one of the ways we get to honor you. Have you here after you've been doing all these spectacular shows? So, tell us uh, how you felt this little band when you by you. Whoa, my um, heart is going. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, you know, just to tell you a little bit more about the event, um, it was put on by the incredible District 9 City Councilwoman Candy Kodobaka. Shout out to Candy um, and her partner, Carrie Joy, who do amazing work, not only for uh, the residents of District 9, but also to make Denver better as a whole uh, for the whole city. And so what they did was they hosted the senior uh, luncheon, which hadn't happened in a couple of years from what I understand. And so at the time that they were planning it, Carrie reached out to me and said, would you like to be on stage with Diane Reeves? And I'll like to say yes. Us. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes. I was like, um, I have nothing to do that day. I am clearing whatever I have to do that day. And of course I'll be there. Um, but I was so nervous because you don't know, you know, I, I have admired say. Diane since I was, before I could think. I've loved her music for so long. And yeah, I know she gave you props. Oh, you know what? I, I know she did. <laughs> I hope that she enjoyed the process as much as we did. We put some video up on Facebook. She was so gracious and so kind. Uh, we had rehearsal on Wednesday, and then we did one song with her yesterday. And I tell you, it was it, my life has forever changed. Mm -hmm. Like, you have those moments in your career where you can one time just be able wow. to share mm -hmm. some music with someone. And, and Candy C's body has been here before. You've seen her in the studio. Mm -hmm. You've had her mm -hmm. here. Such a... Uh, you know, such an awesome individual yeah. and the things she does and what, how she stands and what she brings to the table. It's like, I just admire what she's doing. That's why we brought her in here to, yeah. to at least give, it, give her a, a platform so she can tell everybody, everybody like, where'd she come from? Yeah. She's been here. Yeah. She's going to listen to it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she's putting on some real good action. Yeah, and I think, you know, Especially, you know, not to get too far into politics, oh, cool. but <laughs> but one of the things that That's a lot of us put traction in the exactly <laughs> exactly we'll keep it cute. But um, <laughs> one of the things that we, you know, as we watch all these national politics, we don't think often about do I have any power to change anything? Because mm -hmm. you see stuff that happens that maybe you wouldn't personally agree with, but you think, well, it's in Washington, it's so far away, how can it even possibly impact me? Exactly. And then you see a young woman like Candy who literally said, no, actually, this is my neighborhood, I'm responsible for it, and, and I'm going to stand up job. and fight against some things. So power to her, and, and I, I so admire and am and inspired by her and, and Carrie. And then the event you went to, I mean, every, who's, who was there? Yeah, my mom how even came. Pictures, how, <laughs> how many pictures did you take? Oh, gosh, you know, I'm the man grateful. Right here. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I'm grateful You can tell to he's got husband. a great camera. Look at that great camera. He's, yes. He's uh, running this. Day. He's amazing. I'm grateful to my husband, Ryan Landell. Um, he's a photographer in his own right, and he does a lot of my media and stuff, and he was actually there uh, working the event. and. It's awesome when you have a partner who not only, you know, supports you, but is doing their own thing and you're both working, you know, in, a, in an amazing event. So, of stuff. course, we took as many pictures as possible. <laughs> you've been all over the place. You've been at Live at Jack's. You've been over there at uh, 
Danny's clock tower, mm-hmm. or it's the clock tower. I messed up. When the clock tower, it's now the clock yeah, tower. Yeah, she wrote me after I said that. And she, I mean, <laughs> look how, you would think nobody's listening. She caught me saying it. Yeah. Like, I just did now watch the Joe Henry. I told you about that. Oh, I know. It's <laughs> just because of the love. People yeah, have such a I love for what it. she's done. But you've yeah. uh, done that uh, venue. Mm-hmm. And you're doing a lot of other ones, too. This new one that you've got coming up, it's a Christmas special. It is. It's a holiday concert. I'm so excited. I'll show you. I'm so excited. We're doing a, a show on December 19th at the Vintage Theater uh, in Aurora. It's right around the corner from the Aurora Fox Theater. Um, it's really going to be awesome. I have I haven't done a holiday show in a very long time, um, and so we're just going to have fun. I think it's going to be a great experience. I, I think so too. And uh, do you plan on uh, putting on the clothing for the holiday season? Are you doing yeah. the jingle bells kind of stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we'll do jingle bells, but we are going to do some really cool arrangements of stuff. We're going to do um, some, you know, Christmas things. I don't want to give it away too much. We're actually going to do one tribute to Diane Reeves actually in the show, so definitely want to want to catch that. How do you get um, the tickets? You get the tickets. You can go on um uh, uh vintagetheater dot com. You can check my Facebook, my Instagram. All of my websites have the information, but www dot vintagetheater dot com um or on my website rostellari rostellari dot com. And who's all in on the show? So it's there's going to be some special people. Yeah, I'm excited. Mm-hmm. It's actually myself. Uh, like I said, my best friend, Monique Brooks Roberts, who plays the amazing violin. My producer, Aaron Brooks Roberts. I've got Matt Campbell on drums. I've got uh, my friend, Dylan Bethel, who's going to be on trumpet. And then I have my but my really, really good, dear vocal friends, Brittany Evan Williams and Elisha Horn is going to be singing. So we are going to have a great time. It's going to be the Raj experience. <laughs> you know, uh, you've heard of Cheryl Renee, right? Oh, yeah. yeah she, she just had an award. Yes. And yeah. It's really nice to see you put on uh, stuff like this because I had some old footage of her doing a, a Christmas show, and man, mm-hmm. that's some skills. I went to see her when she did Sister Act in Town Hall. Yes. And she was so phenomenal. I'm so glad I caught it. I think I got the last weekend. And when I tell you at the at the end when she stands on the bed and she's singing her sister <laughs> song, I started crying and I was with Mary Louise Lee and Mary, Mary was, was like, "Are you crying?" And I said, "Yes, I am." <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> and she has a beautiful voice. Yes, yeah, she awesome. mm-hmm. And so I, you have all these uh, variables of uh, singers here in Denver. Ross Bulari is one of them. So just get your tickets now right away to go see this outstanding Christmas special show and win. Raj Delard by putting in comments. I love Raj. That's so easy. Come on, people. Yes. I love Raj. Yeah. And for those of you who are watching on social media, if you follow me on all my platforms and send me a message, one person will be selected and I will send you two albums plus a holiday card as a thank you. I really appreciate you guys' support. So how um, how cool is that? And, and that's what's nice about KUHS. We always give out to the community. We're always giving out free tickets for this, for that, for this, for that. Mm-hmm. Some people don't believe us that we're giving out free tickets. But I take pictures of yeah. the winners inside the studio and exactly. contest that. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So there's all these uh, variables and events going on for the holiday season. If you want to go to a really nice event, you can get your tickets for this holiday concert. Featuring Raj Dulari, and if you haven't experienced the Raj Dulari effect, yeah, like we have here at KUHS, you're missing out. So make sure to get it. One more time, where you can get those tickets: www.rajdulari.com or www.vintagetheater.com. Awesome. Uh, you know, I want to play a couple of your tunes. I'm gonna do it in the background, and they'll be able to hear it slightly. But we're gonna keep talking okay, over great. your music, but great. that's okay. You have to buy the music. Where do we go to buy the music? www.rajdelari.com And you'll be able to hear this great mm-hmm. music. I've got uh, this, uh, your entire album, I think we've talked about mm-hmm. which one we're going to play first. Let's do Miracles. I think Miracles is really great. And so we're we're going to play- actually do Miracles on Thursday. So if you like this tune, come and hear it live. It's awesome. And so you're going to hear it in the background. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we'll play Raj Delari as we speak. I think this is like my favorite song. <laughs> Featuring Asante, right? I mean, yes. I always pronounce that wrong, especially when I was uh, putting it on our station. Oh, yeah. yeah I know. <laughs> you got it right now, Asante. Yeah. I mean, that's him. And I do play this song. Uh, there's another one on here that I like. Dance with me. 
That one, yes, that that one in open air. Open air is definitely my favorite. Dance with me, I love. Why are you writing songs for this guy? Let's oh, you know, he's all right. He's all right. He's all right. You know? He's all right. No, I, you know, honestly, I, I truly believe that um, a lot of times in this world, you can exist in a silo. You can do things on your own. And it's beautiful and it's and it's really honest, But when you're on this grind, I love the music. Yeah. And that's what the man and the other guys are doing for the show. We've thought about that because you've got to have the right connection, the right kind of person to share with. When you do it, you enjoy the life so much better. Look at that picture for uh, I don't know if I can show you that. You're enjoying it. Yeah. Now you're in Denver and you do it. It seems like I've been watching your, your progress here. So, Hey! <laughs> Now, you've also done some stuff for us. Yeah. Mayor's wife, Aww. Terry Louise, is a Tell us about she, that. You know, she she is incredible in her own right. I When I first moved to Denver, maybe about six months after that, I did a show uh, called The Sister Haven at Town Hall. It was beautiful. And she was in it, uh, Leonard Barrett was in it, Sandra Washington and Randy Chalmers. And, you know, Mary and Leonard were like the heavy hitters of the show. And so I'm just coming to Denver. I don't know any of these people. And then I hear, of course, all of her accolades. And I was like, I don't know how this is going to be. You know, I was nervous. <laughs> I go for the first read, and I tell you, she was one of the biggest thugs. Leonard, they gave me the biggest welcome, and we've been friends ever since. But I can tell you, Raj, your stuff, your music, everything about you, you just shine, you know, shine and star. And that's what I'm saying. Like I told you, you know, she had this album come out. She's now getting that album. Second in Colorado Falls. Yeah. With Raj Dulari and her jazz stuff. It's cool. Wow. You are. You're going to write this. And if you can't catch the Raj Dulari experience, you've got to catch it as soon as you can. So you can experience what it's like to listen to this. Raj, I like to call it Raj. I would put that up there. Oh, Join me for a second. <laughs> up close and personal with Raj, you because know, I can. It sounds really classy. Even Raj, you know, Raj you Yeah. And so you have some more things planned that are coming up in the future. Yes, actually, uh, speaking of Mary Louise Lee and Leonard Barrett, uh, we're actually doing a New Year's Eve show. So we've uh, we formed this group called the Smooth City Harmonies, and we sing all kinds of stuff, Manhattan transfer stuff, um, and so we're going to do a holiday tribute show. It's our first one, and um, that's going to be at the Vintage Theater as well. So you can find those tickets on my website, and I'm excited because those are my friends. Ever since we've done Amos and Haven, we've been really good friends now. So. If you see me, I'm changing this, this camera. I have to download this new AI, AI type of software where it's artificial intelligence, which is not even in the shop. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to catch you up close with the garage to show you the video, as well as how she talks. I go up close to her so you can see her real up close right now. And it does its own shot. You can see the picking up on shot. Really cool. you know, Love that. Isn't that wild? Artificial intelligence. Yeah. Kind of strange. <laughs> there you go. Right up close and personal. Yeah. Did you get to see that right up close? Oh, it's not, it's not. Some people like to zoom in for a picture of shop. I just allow it to be everything you want. Gotta yeah, love technology, it's man. Crazy. Yeah. Because now it wants to do another update, and I gotta learn that one. And I was like, come on, I'm getting too old for this. Oh, I know. I'm no, never too old. You do great, though. No, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say, what's wrong with that old man? <laughs> <laughs> you do great. Everybody and said, I... oh, don't you ever sleep. No, and I'm you know, miss honestly, something. I think that you, there's a man, uh, Jamal Ahmad in Atlanta, uh, Chris Phillips in London. You guys are really the unsung heroes um, in a lot of ways because we wouldn't be able to get our music out if you don't give us a moment. And so all the hard work that you do is truly appreciated, Henry. Even on the days that you don't sleep and all that <laughs> kind of stuff, it means something. And it especially means something to us as independent artists, you know? And so, the advent of truly technology grateful. is... It's straightened out a lot of things for the record company, which yeah. try to cheat the artists out of their dues. Yeah. 
And if you can sell on your own, you download on your website and all the other variables that you can with new technology yeah. and push you all over the world. You can do it. Now we're in the world because we've got a friend, one of our guys uh, who broadcast from Bangkok coming back. This is a lot of And he is for USA. Mm -hmm. No other station for USA. Yeah. So it's a uh, great issue. He's been in Denver uh, radio for uh, 25, 30 years. But that's the way that independent artists who don't have mainstream representation and label representation can get their music out to all these different platforms. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. And you know, you use technology. I watch how you use the heck out of it. <laughs> <laughs> that girl, like that. God, she's on point. <laughs> she's got her man. She's got her man. Don't think she's doing this all on her own. She's doing a lot of the singing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Raj, uh, tell us a little bit more about the New Year's Eve uh, events, because there's a lot of New Year's Eve events going on all over the, you know, the city. But yeah. some people don't like to go too far. You know, they like to stay close or stay in the hotel and uh, enjoy. Well, you know, what I, what I noticed, and, and this is much respect to anyone who does New Year's Eve shows, but a lot of people focus on more of the classical music uh, for New Year's Eve. They do a lot of different, you know, Broadway things, which is really nice. But for us, what we wanted to do is take four and powerful singers who do incredible harmonies and do some soulful music. So even though we are going to do a couple of the traditional New Year's Eve songs, I can guarantee you this is not like any New Year's Eve show you've ever been to. So we have a lot of fun. Okay. And you know, Leonard, he's, he's suave, he's debonair, he wears the suit, he's got the low voice, he gives you all that sex appeal. And then Mary, who can just sing anything. I mean, that woman can sing anything. Randy is such a beautiful character. He has a beautiful voice. And then I come in and, you know, we just round up. So you're going to pop open the champagne. <laughs> That's right. Hey, come on, baby. Give me a kiss. <laughs> right. And I think I think they're actually doing a free glass of champagne for that show. So come on out, guys. Let's put another it. song behind it. So you get some music on this one. Uh, let's do Peace. Okay. All right. And we'll, we'll put this behind the backside again. And I'm going to go with Raj Zulari. All right. Uh, so you get to hear what it really sounds like here. So, um, as we continue talking, we'll turn back to Mike and let you listen to the on the radio portion instead of listening to us, which is okay. So, this song, uh, Aaron Brooks, Robert. Yes, my producer, yes. Uh, tell us about it. So, Peace, so I wrote Peace in New York, actually, with Aaron. Um, I would always have this experience, you know, I'm a Midwest girl, and so living in New York, was it, uh, it was a series of ups and downs. Like, I love New York for the energy, but as a Midwest girl, I needed a little bit more peace of mind, and I needed some trees and some greenery and all that kind of stuff. And so there would be these moments where I'd be in the middle of the train, you know, just crowded with people and feeling like, how am I going to find a calm moment? And I think if you're someone who comes from, like, a Midwest and you move to big cities, Yes, you do everything that you need to do to get your grind on, but there's a part of you that just wants to feel. And so I wrote this song with that in mind. Like, no matter where you are, you can control your energy. And then it just really has been a theme throughout the time. And then, of course, you have the beautiful Aaron Bruce Robert who comes back to the You know, that's the ice man. Now, the thing you told me about that go uh, do a special or a collaboration with that Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. knows very excellent because <laughs> he's such a big superstar. As well as your local people. He don't care. He's a lovely person. Very nice. Tony, I can't say the date yet, but Tony and I are going to do some work in 2020. I'm so excited. He's an amazing saxophonist, a really great friend. He did a breast cancer. Uh, tribute events in October. Um, I've, I've seen him before. He's also played a lot of Grammy Street. He's a really great, kind man. He's a music artist. He just booked an amazing tour for 2020. And he called me and asked me to do something in February. So See all the so props. Excited. Tony, you got all kinds of props from Rob. Much love, Tony. Much love. <laughs> he travels all over the world. He's, he's a hard working man. So he does all that. It's hard in this business. You know, keep it flowing real good, and you know it's all about it. Everybody knows it's hard to keep it flowing. But you know, after you do an event or you're successful, and you feel like you want to do something like that, you just stare at all the people out there. You see all the clappers and the clapping and clapping going on, and the smiles on their faces when you step off, and you say, I don't know, this moment ends. Um, how long do you stay there? 
you know it's funny because I was telling I was talking to my friend um, I was talking to a co-creator actually yesterday and we were talking about how um, throughout a year of your life in, in your career as an artist you have such ups and downs you'll have performances that you feel like are really awesome and then you'll have moments that you feel like man you know that could have gone so much better than I wanted it to. But the beautiful thing is you feel these things because you challenge yourself and you start to grow, right? And even though it's uncomfortable, even though it's painful, even though, you know, sometimes you're like, I don't even know it. Like, you know, when I got the call for, for to do this thing with Diane, I was like, I hadn't done straight ahead in a long time. How is she going to think about that? But I have to just show up and do my thing. Once you do it and it goes well, oh my gosh, that that yeah. feeling it, it can keep you going, it can keep you motivated. Especially the videos, yeah. who you're up there with, yeah. It makes it worth it. It, it makes it company, fun. everything that you have is worth it. One hundred. Thank you. It is yeah. one hundred. Yeah. And you know it. You just know it from your heart. You just stand around the and you're just glowing with the after you can see yeah. it. You can see and it's it not even your... like a cockiness. No, it's a... It's a gratitude yes. thing. It's a, man, I have, I have worked, because I've been doing this longer than 20 years. I've been independent for a long time. And so you have these one moments in your career that these little pockets of things, and what they do is they shore you up and strengthen you for the days that aren't so good. You know, you, you remember and say, yeah, but I have that one moment. Yeah, but I did that thing that was good for me. Yeah, I had that day, that day where I shook Diane Reed's hand. I could keep going. I could keep she going. She was so... Oh, just gracious. Yeah, that was a beautiful spirit. Yeah. And it's so nice to have that one. Especially in this time of the season. Yeah, yeah. And so and I'm sure you have a cut bunch of pictures. We did. Did we you did. look at them and wow, look at that one. I know, we're still going through them. I mean there were there were seven hundred people there and I think you can tell me you have like seventeen hundred pictures or something. Got it, so. Because some aren't as good, <laughs> but you look at some and you're like, Wow, I would like to Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, okay, your vocal strength uh, you have to dynamic. Your delivery is, is on point. I mean, you can tell by your music. It's like, well, like I said, I play it all the time. I still do jazz show. I always play our local people from here. Yeah. I claim you. I said, yeah. <laughs> she's from New York City, but now she's from Denver. I would oh, say yeah. Kind of thing. I claim. You know, it's like, okay, we could claim her. She's from Denver. What? What? I have fallen in love with Denver. I told my husband, I was like, okay. You wanted me to take a chance here. Now I'm not leaving. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. And you know what I love about Denver is the community. I, you know, being in New York, it's a beautiful, New York is awesome. The energy of New York is great. But sometimes because you're working so hard, you don't get to see your friends as much. You know, you might have a friend that lives in the Bronx, but you live in Brooklyn and you don't get a chance to kind of connect. so much traffic and, so and much bridges and all this kind of thing. And yeah. pay the bridge company. Yeah, <laughs> but here in Denver, what I found is the artist community is so strong. Mm -hmm. People come to you know each other's shows, and we we you know we we support each other. We're in each other's projects. There's so much that goes on that I had no idea of before I moved here, and now it's like I need this the vibe that's here. I need that energy so much. Did you get to see this artist we had in here? I remember where she was the one of the final one Mercury Fest. Oh no! I oh missed. my gosh! That uh, was the most interesting thing I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. When she was downstairs in the lab, you know, I was like, "Hello, how are you?" I'm very nice. Just kind of sitting next to me, and I looked at her and I was like, "Wow!" And I didn't understand. Yeah. She said, "Oh wow!" And uh, Simon Powell comes on there and he asks her, "Why did you take your shoes off?" And then her person mm -hmm. right next to him, she says, "I mean, you know, she's." Because of how much she says, you should give it to me. She just said, because I can feel the vibration in her voice. Yeah. She was so freaking awesome. Yes. Now she's book solid for a half a year since the time she came. Of course. And it's like, she says, I'm not going to stop. Nothing stops me. I mean, I lost my hearing. But the way she sings, I would do it. Well, it's a vibration, you know. It's and that's funny. That's why I was doing this thing. Yeah. Okay, you as a person, you're up there on stage. You go into this different room. Mm -hmm. You're, you know, you're Raj, but you're up there saying, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it's an experience. It's a, it's a, it's a relationship. It's an energy exchange. 
and it's something you know. I, when I first started, uh, when I first started out as an independent, and we would have these jam sessions with my band, and then I would also go to Jersey at the time. Uh, Aaron, my producer, and Monique, and they had their band over there, and we'd go and hang out and do these writing sessions, right? And I would say, wow, this music is so powerful. I could literally lay on the floor and just let it wash over my body. And so for that woman, Amber, to feel the way that she does about the music, it's not just something that you sing and that you project out. It's literally an energy that goes through. Yes, that's how she explained it. Yeah. And she was in here, and then we had to do something different. Just for me, we brought the microphone up to the side of the stage. Yeah. And when we looked at some brothers, she was like, why don't you make it off the edge of the stage? She's so yeah. feeling it, yeah. She's feeling it. Yeah, and yeah, she was yeah, looking yeah. at the, um, the uh, commentator here. Yep. And yeah. Well, no, she was using it. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. And so uh-huh. she was just like, it was just interesting. And her voice is so big. It's like, yeah. And, you know, like. But that tells you the power of sound. Yeah, and then and the, the power, power of feeling. Yeah. Yeah. She explained the feeling like what you go through, you go through a lot of different things like that too. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> one thing I, I like about your album, uh, you know, when you come out and do all these different songs, uh, you sh- express a lot of that. What song are we going to play next? Let's do Open Air. So this is Open Air. We're going to go ahead and take this to the radio again. Yeah. And then we're going to shut off the mic so you can't hear us interrupting this great <laughs> music, okay? So, in the studio with me, if you just joined us, Raj Jilari. Wow. Um, exceptional vocalist who made Denver her home. So, we claim her, okay? Absolutely. She no longer belongs to New York. They don't know how to handle it. <laughs> That's right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too fabulous for yeah. New York, darling. Yes, okay, I have to so move yeah. To Denver. Yeah, so it's more classy, okay? <laughs> Get that straight. On KUHS, the international broadcasting station, streamed on 38 platforms around the world. This little engine that goes, everybody comes here. We've had some of the big names in the TV stations here. Mike Landry. And we've had uh, Greg Nippley, the Kevin King, the Kevin and Tony DJ, all the time for our show. So a lot of people like to come in here and just enjoy this. Because of this, some of them. Yeah, and, it's and because you have an awesome podcast. Yes, and all the people. Yeah. There's so many cool people in here. Yeah. And we've got all these people. Yeah. We've got some really nice people. We've got some really nice people. Sunday shows, the Spanish shows, the Final Eagle. Yeah, also on the Tunes here. We've got Oldie. We've got, of course, Jazz. Jazz is huge. Yeah. We uh, expanded it from two hours to one hour. It's going to be Jazz shows. Lunchtime edition, but sometimes I have to spend like two hours to do something. Just stay off of that. Right. Just keep going. Keep going. <laughs> so I do, and of course I play Raj Duwari, and I do play all the different uh, songs on the CD. Like, uh, where do we get this music? www.rajdulari.com, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, everywhere. Yes, don't say no. And Spotify. I'm learning Spotify, y'all, so give me a minute. Let's talk Spotify. <laughs> and don't forget, before we're done with this interview, we're going to do a couple of bars of some good music to say, come on out to your show. Okay. <laughs> and that show's going to be where at again? At Vintage Theater on Thursday, December 19th in Aurora. What's the pumpkin? 20 bucks, honey. That's nothing. Come on. Listen, this is the, that's the 2019 discount. Okay, that's 2020, right. we're not doing any more of that. So... <laughs> That's true. Get in while you, know, you can. Like, you know, you, you can't do nothing for 20 bucks. Mark me. Right. 20 bucks is pretty good. Because if you take your lady, your significant other, your brother's mother's mother's son's former roommate, or your cousin, or your girlfriend, just don't become a wife on Facebook. Or your girlfriend, your you make no promises. <laughs> There's been a lot of people who broke up because of that. Where are you at? I was at Lodge to Large. What are you doing there? Well, I was with my, with who? That's not your wife. Exactly. <laughs> That's not my business, but you can come on out and have a good time and listen to good music. <laughs> That's not my business. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because you can see that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's people doing all kinds of things. Uh, if you just joined us, Raj Tulari in the studio on the block party here. We're going to take it another five minutes and we'll have to say goodbye to Raj. And don't forget the holiday concert. It's coming up. Get your tickets. Where? 
www.rockstar.com and Anybody who wants to get an album, I'm actually doing a giveaway today on all my social media platforms. You have to join the follow me on all of my social media platforms, send me a message, and I will choose one person. I will send you both albums plus a holiday card. So thank you guys so much for your support and even for tuning into this video. I really appreciate it. And the good message is not those kind of babies. See, this dog, they, no, she's married, right? That's right. I know she's gorgeous and all that and a bag of chips. Just watch yourself. <laughs> Lynn Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it with some uh, Raj Jalari. We'll go back to the radio. We'll turn us up so you can hear us talking to you awesome. about your awesome albums, about your, all your events. What do you have for uh, fun for 2020? Oh, you know, I'm so excited. So Any Valentine's, have... Valentine's Day special? You know what? Actually, I'm thinking about doing the Valentine's Day show. I want to find a good venue for it. So, any suggestions? I'm open to hearing them. Um, I, I have a really good friend of mine who lives in Charlotte, North Carolina. His name is Elijah. And uh, we're thinking about doing a lover uh, mm. concert. Those are so, so much fun. Yeah, we just got to find a good venue. So we're looking at that now. But for 2020, my goal is to record album number three. Mm. We actually have eight, almost eight or nine songs written. So we're going to start recording those and releasing them. My goal would be to travel internationally. So I'd like to go back to Paris, to London. I want to go to Germany and Amsterdam. Um, and then I really want to do some awesome collaborations. I've been asked to curate a special, special show in July. I'm not going to say it yet because it's so, so awesome, but it's going to be surrounding the music of Stevie Wonder. Ooh. And we're going to reagine it. Uh, Stevie Wonder, Wonder is one of my favorite artists. Yeah. I always put up stuff up there. I put uh, a video of him in the White House. Mm -hmm. He got, I mean, he just got so into that song. I mean, he started jamming, he's on the piano, and then he got on the harmonica, and he got all just got so into it. Like, yeah. oh, God, this man is so talented. Yeah. And Stevie Wonder, you know, all the time, I love his music, he's so, he can sing in Spanish on that song. Mm -hmm. He does. It's like, good God, you can't, Stevie Wonder is the best. You know what I love about Stevie and Diane Rees and other folks like that? One of the things that I think is so inspiring about how they approach music no fear. They That's they have true. such a freedom in how they express. They don't choose any specific genre. It's not about fitting into any one box. That's it's right. really how can I make sound? How can I make myself happy? And what can I create with this gift I can give? Yeah, That's delivery. Inspiring. Like yeah. your delivery. Oh. Yeah, I watch some of your stuff. You don't think I'm watching? I'm watching. I'm not I that know busy. you're so busy. I'm only at twelve thirty, and boy, that girl is getting down. With Look at this. That's right. <laughs> and then the phone falls on my face. Ouch. Okay, well, that's, that's you know that does. You know, when you're trying to look at stuff and yeah, you're yeah. laying down there, you're laying, oh, shit, and it falls mm -hmm. out of your hand. How that happen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ever do that? Oh, yeah. All the okay. time. Or you're holding it. I spend it, way too much time on social media. Forget, you forget it's sitting there and you get it. Bam. Yeah, and, man. And it's got a mind of its own. It's on the floor, on the phone. Sure, I did. Mm -hmm. You're going to break it. What other song can we listen to as we close out the show? Um, I would say let's do Black Girl. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the intro on there that you're listening to, but Black Girl, we're going to do this also for the holiday show. I'm so oh, excited. Nice. And it's a tribute to all my sisters out there. Keep pushing and never give up. That's really a good message, too. Mm -hmm. Never, never give up on whatever you do. Mm -hmm. You have a dream. Mm -hmm. Keep your dream all the way. It's worth it. Always, it's I always say, always use your imagination as a to fruition. Yeah. Remember, there's never no problem in the future. Okay. Raj, this is an awesome song. So we're going to crank it up just a hair more than we Oh, yeah. I have a great smile. Now, a <laughs> couple of bars. Can you sing with it? Oh, oh, oh. When you're all alone and you're feeling scared, you can, you can fly. 
when you're on your own and you feel sad you can you can glide don't you ever let nobody take what's yours you can and from before you were born, God put his hands on you. He said, that one's mine. So even in your darkest hour, just remember God told you that he gonna get. He told you you're protected, you're safe, you're delivered, you can. You can fly, no matter what's going on in your life, you can. As far as you want to, as high as you need to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big dog, man, don't get too started. <laughs> oh my God, right? And uh, sensational, top shelf. <laughs> Get those rides. Her party is off the good. Thank you, guys. God, Raj, thank you for doing this for the third time. This is the third time. Hey, you wait for the love. And we own her in New York. That's right. Okay. We own her. Denver owns Raj. Okay. She's our gem. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, so. I'll still come but visit, though. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Raj. And we're probably have to cut it for now, but I really enjoyed having you here. We're down to one minute left, and uh, enjoy this. Enjoy the party for the Raj Delari. Give us all the places where you can go to check you out. www.rajdelari.com. You can look up albums. You can also come to a live show and get them directly from us. Uh, definitely go to www.rajdelari.com and the theater.com to purchase a ticket to our show on Thursday, December 19th at the Vintage.